Hi guys, welcome back, or if you're new then welcome to my channel. I hope you will consider subscribing um, and joining this family of mine on YouTube. <laughs> um, it would really help me out if you subscribe though, so I would really appreciate it. Um, so this video is an Ikea haul. So if you watched my last video then you will know that I did say that I was going to Ikea and that I might vlog while I'm there, but yeah, it was a busy Saturday with two toddlers, so <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't vlog, unfortunately. But I did I will <laughs> I will show you now what I bought. Okay, so this is everything we got from IKEA. So first we got this apron for my daughter because her other apron got ruined with slime. And this is called uh, Mala and it was £3.20 and um, I think we actually got some discount because we got the IKEA family card so I'm not sure how much it was without that but yeah it's got £3.20 then we got this really big chopping board which goes over the edge so we can always have it on the side and that is called Lamplay and that was £8 then we got an egg slicer which was a pound and I'm going to use this to chop strawberries because I've seen other people doing that and such a quick way to do it and it was only a pound and this apple cutter because our apple cutter broke I love these you can chop apples so quickly um, that's called spritter and that was £1.50 and Jack chose this cute little panda I have no idea how you say that name and that was £2 couple of these things to hold your phone. I think they were, let me just check the receipt, I think they were £2. Okay, yeah, these were £2 each and you can just put your phone in there and you can like watch videos on it. So that's good for £2. Then we've got these little artificial plants. They were £4. Look, they look quite cute. Um, we've got these, which are shelf inserts. Um, and they are to go in the DVD cupboard, so we can have like an extra layer. Um, so we can have DVDs at the back and we'll be able to see them. But I'll show you a clip of what they look like afterwards. Um, and how much... Oh yeah, these were only two pound as well, so that was good. I have this massive plant which I love. I I got this plant pot stand from um, B and Q, and I had a nice pot, but this doesn't actually fit in that, so I might need to get a new pot. But this was twenty nine pounds. But I've bought so many plants, and they just keep dying. So I thought I'll just get an artificial one. So I know it'll stay nice forever and I don't need to water it. I've got two of these spice racks. I've seen these being used as bookshelves so I'm thinking we're going to put these up maybe on that wall or something. But yeah, I thought that would be a nice space saver. And they were £3.50 each. we got this till. We do already have a till, but we just thought this one looks so nice and it's wooden and yeah, so we'll probably sell the old till and keep this one and it will look nice in her kitchen. Yeah, that's the old one there on top. This one will look so much nicer. This one was £12. And then I've got a couple of these plants, which I love. Hanging plants. These are artificial as well. It's um, uh, 
Vegka. And these are six pound each. And then we got some new boxes for our Calax unit. So that's what we've got in our Calax unit at the moment. And the boxes look like this. So I think that's going to look so much nicer. Um, and they are £12 each. And then I've got this bowl, which I really like. We've just got um, a metal, like, wiry fruit bowl at the moment. And I think this wooden one looks so much nicer. Um, that's £8. The only thing is my other one has a little hanging thing for bananas to keep the bananas out away from the other fruit. So I might just have to put the bananas in with it, but I think it looks nice. So, yeah. And then this thing here is to go in my husband's cupboard with his like gaming stuff. It was only two pound. What is this called? Oh, it doesn't say. But yeah, it's, it ups two pound and then just hangs his headphones on it like that. So, yeah, that was everything we got in our IKEA home. So I just thought I would show how we have used the shelf inserts for storing our DVDs. So at first, um, I had the idea of keeping the DVDs in these top four sections of our new TV cabinet, but my husband said that they wouldn't fit, or if we had two rows of them, then we wouldn't be able to see the ones at the back. And he really didn't want that. So then I thought if we could find a little shelf to go at the back, then we'd be able to see the ones at the back. And we found these in Ikea for £2 each. So I was so happy. Such a great bargain. And they work perfectly. They fit perfectly. And I think it just looks great. I just thought I would also show our new unit with all the nice new boxes. I really love it. And... My husband is so happy with these. So he's got all his DVDs. I'll open them all. They've all got child locks on so the kids can't get to them. Just open them all up. Oops. Alright. Ta da! He's got his headphones there. His PlayStation controller and all the DVDs and you can see them all. Can I see them? You can see them. Don't touch them though. Oh, I'm going to need to close this again. We've got this hanging plant on this shelf at the moment. I love it, but we, I do want to get a different shelf. Like maybe like a circle one. I've seen quite a few nice ones that I like, but yeah, I really love this plant. Here is my nice big plant in the hallway. I love it. Might get a nice plant, a pot, a plant pot, um, rather than just the black one. But for now, it looks nice. Here is the new chopping board and fruit bowl. Um, I haven't finished making the kitchen look all nice yet but this is just where it is for now and I've got the pancake stuff on it and yeah it looks all right thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you again really soon have a great day everyone bye